morning guys today is our moving day I haven't had any coffee yet and it really shows I feel like I'm just walking around the house saying goodbye is that weird does anyone else do this I'm like oh it's the last time I get to look at the bed last time I get to look at the view I don't know I just get really sad leaving places Kel has a really good camera that we want to film on but the flip screen broke so it's been sent back to Fuji to get fixed so in the meantime while the GoPro is in the car we have my iPhone 7 to work with I swear like when the iPhone 7 came out it was really good quality and now this may as well be an iPhone 3 hey did an iPhone 3 have a camera surely everything is so clean though I love moving in and out of places and just looking around the apartment it's so clean <laughs> See, as soon as you go into low light, this is the grainiest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is an iPod Touch, first gen. Moving on up, moving on now, time to break them free, nothing can stop me. You guys like my moving outfit? It is just whatever was left over from my suitcase, it's comfortable. This is Cal's jumper, as you can tell. I look fierce. This is Cal's moving attire. What do you call this? Hobo chic. <laughs> Are you ready for this drive? No, but let's do it. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, that was a kerfuffle. <laughs> Apparently, regular coffee means with the cream and sugar. I was like, sorry, I don't come here often. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we went and got Tim Hortons because we couldn't make any breakfast this morning and we. Oh my gosh, I nearly dropped the camera. We asked for two regular coffees. I thought that meant just black. And I went to take a sip and it had milk in it. It was like... <laughs> if it wasn't cream and sugar, like... Normally I hate taking things back, but I can't drink this. <laughs> I'm so I can't drink cream and sugar. I would be asleep five minutes into this road trip. I'm very lactose intolerant. I have single-use cups. Can we wash them and use them again? I know if we'll ever go to Please. Tim Hortons again. It's not the fact, it's more the fact that we have them in our lives and I feel responsible for them. As you want to know what we got from Tim Hortons, it's really boring. We get boring. two, it's <laughs> so boring. We get two, what do we get? Two multi green bagels with lettuce and tomato. Add two hash browns. Yeah. Add one hash brown. On the side. My brain, I still haven't drank the coffee. <laughs> It's too hot. Why do coffee places give you coffee that's too hot to drink? That's a first world problem I'd like to have solved. So people can put milk in. We don't ever really go to Tim Hortons just because we're driving and we needed to grab something and it shows. It's gonna be a long drive. Long drive. At least it's a really gloomy day. Like if there's a day to move, it's today. Because right now I don't feel bad about leaving the city. Oh, the windscreen wipers sound great. Good morning guys, oh my gosh. We slept for like 12 hours and I'm still exhausted. I swear when you go for a long drive and you do nothing, literally, it makes you more tired and I feel like that's pretty unfair. <laughs> but we made it, we've made it to our new place. The place is a mess right now but I just wanted to check in and say that we made it, we're here, we survived the 10 hour drive. I wanted to show you guys the place before we decorate it before we unpack. So we've bought all our stuff in from the car this morning. We're gonna unpack today. Well, we're gonna start to unpack. We also have to go grocery shopping today because we don't have any food. It's gonna be good. But let me show you the apartment. Okay, it's it's really cute. <laughs> Cal's making coffee and some breakfast. So that's the kitchen area. It's pretty small, but I feel like generally only one of us is cooking at a time, so it should be fine. This is 
the rest of the place. It's only a studio, so it's really easy to show you guys. This is where we've just thrown everything for now. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> There's a whiteboard up there, which I love because I love writing out what I'm doing for the week or if we need any groceries. This is like the, I guess like the living room area-ish. This is like, I don't really know what you call this, but you can put stuff in there and you could also sit on it. I don't really know what you call it, but I'm so happy we have it because you can store stuff in there. This is the view, which you can't really see right now because I just realized we have our blinds down. So you can see one of the mountains, some trees, some of the other places, and the snow. I think it's really cute. We have a fireplace, guys, so we can hang our stockings there. I thought we had a fireplace, but I wasn't 100% sure. This is the bed, and then right here we have a cupboard. It's got mirrors and then... Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like Inception, I just opened to another mirror. So we have some storage space. Woohoo! Last but not least, we have the bathroom, which has really good lighting. I'm so happy about it. The last two places we've lived in have had the absolute worst lighting. So you could never really get ready in there. You kind of had to get ready near the window. This is the bathroom. I look so... Like, well, I don't even know what this is right now. I have no makeup or fake tan on my face. My hair is just what it is and this outfit is very not good that's how i'm gonna sum it up oh my gosh yay coffee Woohoo! good morning everybody i just hit my elbow doing that wow really good start so today is kel's first day back at work i haven't started work yet so today i'm just gonna be unpacking and cleaning rearranging and organizing pretty much everything in our house which i'm excited for but also there's a lot okay let me just give you a brief overview of where we're at so yeah as you can see it's not looking great we did rearrange some furniture which i'm loving but in terms of unpacking and putting everything away it's uh yeah we got lots to do so that is what i'm doing today also Hi, this place has so many mirrors, I love it. So yes, today I'm going to be doing all of this. So stay tuned because this is gonna look good, I can feel it. Like I'm looking at things, I'm seeing where they could go. I'm embracing my creative side, I can see what this could be and I'm gonna do it. Okay, so it's been three and a half hours, it's 10.30, and I have finally somewhat kind of finished the kitchen. I took pretty much everything out of the cupboards and then sorted stuff into, like some stuff I put into jars and then some things that we had double ups. I made like a donation pile, so I'll see if anyone else on the mountain needs any of the stuff that we had doubles of. The apartment we moved into is already furnished and the last person who lived here left us some like spices and jars and just a lot of products which was really nice but we also had some of those products so now we have a lot of double up so i'm just starting doing some of the meal prep at the moment i'm doing breakfast meal prep so cal came up with this tofu recipe creation thing that i am so obsessed with i've been having it for breakfast for the last like two to three weeks it's basically tofu that's marinated in olive oil garlic salt and pepper and then you pan fry that and then have it with spinach kale tomato avocado like i normally fry that in the pan and then add the tofu and then i usually put like avocado on toast and then stack that all on top so this is the marinade and this is the tofu it looks so weird in the pan but basically you freeze the blocks of tofu and then defrost them on the bench normally for like an hour and then you put them in boiling water for 15 minutes and basically that makes the tofu more firm. So when you're frying it or do anything to it, it's easier to work with. All of this information I've literally just gotten from Cal. So. <laughs> Cal is the best, he loves to cook and he comes up with all of these good things. And then I'm like, can you write down the recipe? I really wanna try that. So that's what I'm making now. And then I'm gonna make some pumpkin soup for dinner. I'm gonna get that started. And I'm also going to make this like broccoli quinoa 
bowl thing for lunch this week so I need to make that as well and then I also need to finish the house too but I've still got time the best thing about getting up really early is that you have the whole day which sounds so like obvious but seriously it makes a difference I'm making progress slowly <laughs> Okay, so I just emptied my clothes, like all of them, onto the bed. It's giving me serious anxiety of how many clothes I own. Oh my god, like, I thought I was good. I have a suitcase and a hiking bag full of stuff in general, and I thought that was pretty good, like, not owning too much. And now that I'm seeing all my clothes just spread out on the bed, I full need to cull. Like, I need to cull stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna show you, but there's a lot. This is crazy, guys. If anyone wants any clothes, hit me up. Honestly, I'm going to try and get rid of some of these things. I think what I'll do is I'll put some things in my suitcase. And then if I don't notice that I wear them over the next couple of months, then I'll donate them. Okay guys, it's 5.30 p.m. It feels like 11 p.m. I'm exhausted. I have cleaned most of the place. I feel like if I show you everything but the bathroom, it'll look impressive. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't touched the bathroom. That's tomorrow's project. I still have all of this week off work, so I've got time. I've got time. Let me quickly show you what I've done so far. Doesn't this just look 20,000 times better? I'm so happy. That pile of clothes on the bed, is Cal's jumpers and jackets. I was gonna hang them up for him, but I wanna check and see if he wants to keep any in his suitcase. And then down here, that's Cal's suitcase he has to unpack, which I guess he'll either do tonight or I could do tomorrow, it doesn't really matter. And we're Matt's house snowboard bag that I haven't taken down to the lock yet. Isn't this just looking 10,000 billion trillion times better than this morning? I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's embarrassing, but I'm really happy with myself. This looks good. This looks this looks amazing. I'm so happy the place finally feels a bit more like home. As soon as I move somewhere, I just want to unpack, set the place up, and like move in. I hate when stuff is everywhere. I like when everything has a place, it's all organized, it's all clean. And so now I feel like I just feel so much better, guys. One thing I love that I did today, guys, was I put these jars here. These were just random jars that were in the cupboard. Some of them already had stuff in them. But then I filled the empty ones with, like, some oats and popcorn and lentils. And I think that just looks really cute on the bench. I'm not a big fan of having appliances on the bench. Yes, I love this. I totally want to get some more. Well, I guess I'll use jars as time goes on. Maybe I'll check with other people and ask if they can keep some jars aside from me oh actually no they should keep them aside for themselves they should everyone should get on this it's very good you don't need to buy decorations guys you can literally use what you're going to throw away they look cute i love them i finished all of our meal prep for the week as well which i'm really happy about i love when everything is just in the fridge it's ready to go then i know exactly what i'm going to eat for the week i know i'll eat healthy and i won't buy any food so i made the tofu marinade which I showed you guys earlier. I made the broccoli, quinoa, garlicky bowl thing for lunch, which I'm gonna put the recipe down below because it's super easy to try. It was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite. I think I would add some chili flakes and I think I would probably burn the broccoli rather than just have it cooked, but it's good, like you should give it a go. And I made some pumpkin soup, which is just simmering there now and some 
cookies, some oatmeal cookies, which didn't turn out that great. I feel like Cal came up with this recipe. Well, he found a recipe online and he changed it. And then I just can't get it the same every time. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something because every time I make them, like last time they were too wet, this time they were too dry. You know what I'm doing? I'm changing the recipe. I'm not following it to a T. It's almost like I'm the cause of the problem. But anyway, they're done. But otherwise, the house is clean. The meal prep is done. I'm feeling good. I feel like it was a long day, <laughs> but it was productive. It's done and I feel so set up for the rest of the week. Sometimes I definitely recommend just taking a day cleaning up, getting everything in order, and then the next day you will feel so ready to accomplish anything. Just waking up and it's all clean, it's all ready to go. I swear you're so much more productive, so I seriously recommend giving this a go, guys. Obviously in this case, I just moved in, so I kind of like have to do it. I definitely recommend taking some time to like go through your things and see what you need, see what you could donate, arranging everything and knowing what you have. I swear by it, it's good.